Let us learn logical equivalence with BTS. BTS is a popular K-pop group and obviously all members are successful. However, some of them have also expressed the challenges that they have encountered. For instance, Suga has been very vocal about his experience with depression. Also, some of the powerful lyrics of the song have shown that these members are not also free from loneliness and frustrations. Let us focus on the song tomorrow. This song has the line, I scream out of frustration, but the empty air echoes. Tenten sounds negative, so let us negate it to make it positive. Let's have, it is not the case that I scream out of frustration, but the empty air echoes. We may also make use of symbols to make our discussion easier. So, I scream out of frustration may be symbolized with P. The empty air echoes may be represented by Q. So, the original statement may be written as P and Q. Remember that but as a connective may also be written as N. So, it is not the case that I scream out of frustration but the empty air echoes will now be written in symbols as the negation of the conjunction P and Q. The negation of P and Q may be rewritten as the negation of P or the negation of Q. These two statements are equivalent. As you can see in the first compound proposition, we have the negation outside the parentheses and we use conjunction. Here, this compound proposition now has the negation of each of the propositions and instead of using conjunction we now use disjunction so we may rewrite the negation of p and q as so this is the negation of the original statement i scream out of frustration but the empty air echoes we use the de morgan's law in order to express another compound proposition to show the negation here, we have the De Morgan's Laws. The first one has been shown a while ago. The negation of the conjunction P and Q is equivalent to the disjunction of the negation of P and the disjunction of Q. We also have here the negation of the disjunction is equivalent to the conjunction of the negation of each of the propositions. Now, let us be more familiar with logical equivalence by reading the book Discrete Mathematics and Its Applications written by Kenneth Rosen. On this page, we have the definition of logically equivalent compound propositions. The compound propositions P and Q are called logically equivalent if P if and only if Q or the biconditional of P and Q is a tautology. The notation P is equivalent to Q denotes that P and Q are logically equivalent. So take note of this notation. We have this symbol to denote logical equivalence. The symbol is not a logical connective, however, so take note of that. We don't use this to come up with compound propositions. This is not a logical connective. And P is equivalent to Q is not a compound proposition. So that's clear. Rather, it is the statement that the biconditional is a tautology. The symbol, here's another symbol. So we have two horizontal lines and then arrowheads. Is sometimes used instead of this symbol to denote logical equivalence. Still, on the same page, we have the truth table to show the equivalence of the statements involved in the De Morgan's laws. See here in the example, the negation of P or Q and the negation of P and the negation of Q are logically equivalent and we can see that here in the truth table. These two columns have the same truth values. Hence, we say that these propositions are logically equivalent. 
On the next page, we can see the distributive law and the demonstration that the propositions are logically equivalent by using a truth table. You can see on this page the different laws on logical equivalence. Let us focus on the identity law. We have P and true is equivalent to P. So whatever statement it is, as long as it is true, if you are going to have a conjunction with P, then it is still equivalent to the statement P. On the other hand, if we have the disjunction of a statement P and any false statement, that's going to be equivalent to the statement P. We also have the domination laws. If we have the disjunction P or T, this is equivalent to T. So instead of having P a while ago, we have T already because we are using disjunction. On the other hand, P and F is equivalent to F. Item important laws. P or P is equivalent to P. P and P is equivalent to P. This is very simple. All statements are P. Double negation law. It is shown here that the negation of the negation of P is equivalent to P. For example, it is not the case that Shuga is not handsome. It is just the same as saying Shuga is handsome. We now have the commutative laws. P or Q is equivalent to Q or P, and P and Q is equivalent to Q or P. So we may change the positions of the statements, and still, we did not change the meaning. Associative laws, we have the change in the grouping of the propositions. We also have the distributive laws. We have here P or the conjunction of Q and R is just the same as P or Q and P or R. You can see what, we ha what has been done here. We grouped P or Q together. We grouped P or R together. And then we have the conjunction in between the two groups. Also, if we distribute P to each of the propositions inside the parentheses, we have P and Q or P and R. We simply distributed the proposition that is located outside the parentheses to come up with this compound proposition. Absorption laws. Q has been absorbed with P as shown here. The disjunction of P and P and Q is equivalent to P. Also, the conjunction of P and P or Q is equivalent to P. Negation laws. The disjunction of P and its negation is equivalent to a true statement, and the conjunction of P and its negation is equivalent to a false statement. Mm -hmm.